Before the official engagement began, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was accorded a full traditional Fijian welcome known as the Vengaravi Vakabanua, which was attended by the Prime Minister Vorenge Mbanyamarama and his cabinet ministers, along with Melanesian spearhead group representatives. Lavrov fully acknowledged the hospitality accorded to him, saying he understands this goes back to ancient times. Искренность ваших сердец в этом ритуале, и мы будем всегда помнить этот прекрасный момент, и знаете, что мы отвечаем вам за Еще раз огромное спасибо, я предвкушаю интересные, продуктивные переговоры сегодня здесь на Фиджи. Following the traditional welcome, Bainimarama and Lavrov held a private meeting before proceeding to discussions with other Pacific Island leaders. My impression is that it was uh, very constructive. Uh, it is a big step forward and it is uh, uh, a way forward for us in as far as uh, strengthening our relationship. For my government, the FSM, we're here uh, uh, ready uh, listen, to listen and learn. As you know, we have had uh, diplomatic relations with uh, the uh, Russian Federation, and we're hoping that we the visit by the foreign minister can uh, uh, continue to improve and enhance the relationship. Similar sentiments were echoed by Vanuatu's Minister for Foreign Affairs. Our meeting today is a, is a milestone in the uh, in, um, recognizing recognizing Russia's uh, potentials uh, in the helping our remote islands, uh, particularly with this um, climate change. I think Russia will be uh, uh, Russia has played a big role in the issues of uh, Kyoto Protocol, and we uh, we support greatly uh, such big nations. Russia, together with China, and together with the United States of America, we all uh, as uh, small island countries in the Pacific, we uh, re we rely on them. Talks during the day covered a number of topics, from security to climate change. In response to a question about the new United States policy focus on the Asia-Pacific region, the Russian foreign minister says the region is becoming the powerhouse of the world economy and with economic influence comes political influence. We consider the Asia-Pacific region as one, uh, as one of the key priorities of the Russian foreign policy, given its importance in world economy, world finances and world politics, and given its importance as well from the point of view of uh, security, not only regional but global security. The key players are located here. And in promoting uh, dialogue uh, between those key players in the formats like APEC, East Asian summits, ASEAN regional forum, we uh, cannot and should not uh, ignore the fact that there are island developing countries who are not participating in that process who are not part of those formats and my visit here uh, clearly helped me and uh, helped the Russian Federation to understand better 
the needs and interests of these island countries. Lavrov added all should approach security in the region in an open way on the basis of respect for each other. Fiji's Foreign Minister Ratu Inoki Kumbuomwala says by strengthening relations with countries such as Russia, this creates greater stability for Fiji in terms of the trade and job creation. As we explore our minerals and mining and trade, there are growing new sectors that create new jobs. And as we create new friends and new partners, they are also creating less dependency. And this is good for everyone. We further hope to establish new cultural avenues and opportunities for all Fijians. As you know, Fiji is the heart of the Pacific, but we are part of the global community. And we must expand our horizons to new friends and opportunities. The Russian minister concluded by saying Russia seeks to find partners in the region and would like to cooperate in a mutual beneficial manner in order to promote ties and improve visits in the Pacific region. Russia has accepted an invitation from Fiji meet on a ministerial level next September during the United Nations General Assembly.